Hey hey guys, how's it going? It's me Miyogi and welcome back once again to another episode of Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. Whew, I've actually did a lot of preparations for this episode, which is like 10% preparation, 90% was obviously gonna be improv. <laughs> what in, I know you guys are going to be curious, what is that 10% preparation gonna be? Well, it's all here in my uh, garage. So you see uh, these four right here. So, uh, spoiler alert, we are not going to use Daiki Z for this episode and this episode alone because this is the waifu episode. Yes, that's right. And aside from our uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer best girl, which is obviously uh, this one, Midnight Cinderella. Yes, I actually have Midnight Cinderella here on the list right now. Uh, we also have, and I'm pretty sure you would be surprised. And unfortunately, I cannot play their theme songs because some of them are copyrighted. <laughs> one of them being this. So if you are familiar with uh, EXD X Driver, yes, this is the Lotus Europa of Lorna Endo. I would have Lisa in the mix, but one, uh, the Impreza is a four-door here, I could be wrong. And two, the Lancia Stratos does not exist here, uh, unfortunately, which also means that the only one that we can be recreating in terms of waifus is uh, Lorna's Lotus Europa. And let's see, who are next on this list? Well, obviously, it can be a Wangan Waifu episode if we don't have the Wangan Waifu best grill, which is uh, Reina Akikawa from Wangan Midnight, of course. And this spec is based on her final spec as far as the manga is concerned. So you may be wondering, doesn't Reina have the DuckTales spoiler, the Nismo DuckTales spoiler? I would say yes, but at the same time, no, because... As soon as the last arc where she is a part of, which was, if I remember correctly, uh, Legendary F1 Turbine, she gets the regular Nismo wing back. On top of it is the DuckTail spoiler. So if you have not read the manga, that's already news for you guys. If you have played Maximum Tune up to uh, stages 75 to 76 to stage 80, well, that is already your answer. Remember, when we face off against Reina with Makoto Morishita, she actually has this R32 in this spec. So it's like 500 horsepower flat with the regular stock Nismo wing alongside the Nismo uh, ducktail. So it's a 2 for one Unfortunately, in TXR, we cannot have both. And we don't have the DuckTales spoiler either. And, of course, the other waifu is obviously best girl single, turbo single life, Kyoko Iwase. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what would be our objective with these waifus, now that you may be asking me? It's simply put, we may not be touching the bosses. I'm still deliberating whether or not we should attack Infinity because one of the wonders requires Infinity to be beaten. Uh, that being said, yes, we are gonna be wanderer hunting for this episode. It's a surprise because uh, you all be wondering, Miyogi, haven't you done C1 and Shinkanjo yet? And to that, I say, yeah, I have not done it yet. But it also means that I really, 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 really want everything at the Southern Kanagawa out and dealt with already. That even includes Wonders. And I know that Speedmaster and Infinity still exist. So screw them. Screw them. So among the waifus that we're going to be taking out first, we are going to be bringing out Midnight Cinderella. She's going to be first on the list. Why? If you look closely on her, oh wait, not that. If you look closely on her plate number, it is marked at one 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 one. But we know canonically that Minnie Cinderella has twelve zero zero, or the other plate number that we can see later in the rival list for comparison. Wait, yeah, switch uh, rival list and let's go to Senpai. Uh, according to Senpai's plate number, her plate number is uh, eight. 775. Did you read that right? Wait, let's look at the back. Let us look at Zibak. Yeah, 8775. 
but as as well um, in other iterations, she has to plate number twelve zero zero. So why is it eleven eleven? Because our first stop would be at Yokohama. We're gonna be battling against a wonder named Let's Go, and his requirement is that the license plate must be marked eleven eleven. So that's the first place we're gonna go to, and it is at Yokohama clockwise. Yeah, so I think it means Wangan. Yeah, so we're gonna go there first in our Wanderers cleanup. So we're gonna make our way from the bottom up. So we're gonna stay away from the orange ones. I just said we're gonna stay away from the orange ones game! And uh, fortunately for us, uh. Yeah. Un no, wait, not you. Not you, Sunny Dragon! No! Unfortunately for us, Let's Go is right there, way up the- Hello? Akio? Akio Asakura, what the hell are you doing here? What is Akio Z31 doing here? Or don't tell me, uh, this member of Infinity Red Moonlight is tied in to the story of Wang and Midnight. Where after Akio sold the Z, this bastard right here picked it up and became the member of Infinity. Well, that could be one plot point. Okay, yeah, now we get to see uh, Senpai's RX-8 in action, and while we do so... Whoa! Yo! Yo! Non in the... Yeah, that is Akio Z31, not gonna lie. Nani the Fuku with that boosto! Oh yeah, the best bit about Minute Cinderella's RX-8, the handling. It sticks like glue and it looks like speaking of sticking, we need to be, uh, so that we can kill two birds with one stone, but we're not gonna face off against the boss of, uh, Infinity, the team leader. We're not gonna trigger him out, just to... Get some mileage in as we chase after that one blue guy right there. Move, 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 move. Thank you. All right, so we have an FTO now, the shooter. Yeah, it is gonna be easy. And because we're entering a corner, I don't think the shooter is gonna shoot his way into the lead. Yeah, in terms of brakes and handling, Midnight Cinderella's RX-8 has it perfectly down. The acceleration though, is pretty good. Sadly, the only thing that Senpai here doesn't have well enough is uh, top and speed. Ironically, despite the fact that she hails at Wangan Line. Okay, so I bet after this next guy, we get to uh, reach... Uh, what the hell? Darada, who was that? Oh god. Alright, so who do we got next here with Infinity? So we have three members out of seven down. This next one is... GTO, the Love Hunter. Hey, at least his GTO is colored the same way as the team sticker. Yeah, at this point, Infinity, and when I say Infinity, I also mean BTS, uh, they have to go. God, no. Yeah, there it is. See? Um, unlocking special cars such as Midnight Cinderella's RX. Ow! Like Midnight Cinderella's RX-8, it's not actually cheating, but I would at least say that they are tuned to specific attributes. And obviously Midnight Cinderella as, uh, is tuned specifically for handling reasons. Oh god, no. Okay, hopefully this guy is our actual target now. So we have three members of Infinity down, so three left to go. And 
and this is yep it's wanderer time guys so our first target let's go is in a subaru legacy it's also funny that uh how his wanderer name is uh, styled is similar to that of Baksok Kyodai Let's End Go, just without the end. Like back then, I accidentally used to call him Let's End Go, <laughs> but it's actually just Let's Go. Oh God, no! All right, so we shouldn't be having problems with uh, crashing into people. I spoke too soon. We shouldn't have any problems crashing into people with Midnight Cinderella's RX-8 because the braking would totally save us in a lot of situations. And alright, oh there's no turn right into Daikoku, so we're taking it to Yokohane. Back to carrying we go. Speaking of carrying... That was, that was close. What? Nani? Next one is Yamachi. Hey, isn't this a tribute to Reina? Like, this is her old one, except with the carbon hood, though. Okay, so this is... So how many would these be? So we got a uh, legacy wagon. Now we have a Reina GTR with a carbon hood. I would say Tomoya, but no, the hood is... Uh, the hood is Tomoya spec, yes. But... Uh, the ducktail is very Reina esque. And no, even with boost, Yamachi is not gonna reach us. Oof, that, I felt that hurt! Oh, ow! Oh god, this man. This man. Okay. So we have a third one. A Celica GT4, Obi-Wan Kenori. Okay, you, you underestimate my power, Obi-Wan. You may have the high ground, but you've underestimated the power of the Senpai. Pretty decent looking Celica GT4 there, I'd have to say. Alright, so okay, so these wonders with the stage sticker are actually theming themselves ow theming themselves in the same way as of D3 back in Nagoya so we beat one the next one spawns rinse repeat and if this is the third one it should end because they can't be bothered to have a fourth one what there's a fourth one the fourth one is armadillo oh my god they have out they have outclassed D3. Speaking of outclass, I, my water's already heating so much. So there's four of them in total. Okay, I did not calculate this. God, so there's four of them. Why is there four of them? God, 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 stay in the inside. Okay, good. Please let there not be a number five. So at least this wanderer, these wanderers, are the ultimate test of endurance, it seems. And Senpai is already overheating. Water-wise, she's overheating. She had like four, uh, then plus three from infinity. Seven! Seven races total. I'm surprised. And we have cleared um how many? One, two, three. We have cleared four wanderers in one sitting. And despite the temperature gauges, we're doing absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. We haven't we never unlocked anything because we already unlocked the same cars, the Legacy Wagon, the R32, the GT4, and the MRS. They're already unlocked. Uh our win streak. We're at four wait. The other three did it. Oh no 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 wait 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 wait. 
The race from Let's Go all the way to Armadillo only counts as one. So the three of them were from Infinity, and the fourth one is the String of Wanderers. Okay. But we're not done with Senpai yet, because the la uh, one of the remaining Yokohama Wanderers requires a stock-looking car. And apparently, I already did my beta test on this one on, on original hardware, custom cars are considered stock-looking. Because when you buy them, they come out as is. And by that definition, it is stock. So we can still exploit that fact, use a custom car, like Senpai, and face off against Nobuteru Taniguchi. Uh, Nobuteru Taniguchi, aka NOB or Nob, or his uh, store name No One Better, requires a stock looking car. And he is in the Yokohama counterclockwise. No Infinity members should be spawning because they're all on counterclock. They're all on clockwise. So, counterclockwise, we should be safe. And speaking of which, there's already him right now. So he is in a custom S15, the protagonist of Kaido Battle. So the one thing that you were all misled to believe is that uh, Taniguchi here faces off against stock cars. That was the mis uh, interpretation. He faces off against stock looking cars. So you can modify everything except the rims and the body and he would still race you. That's the absolute fact that we have with uh, Nob here. So back then we considered him a cheater. It's just that he has a uh, hard-on for sleeper cars. And my god, Nob is actually perform- Ow! Ooh, I was not looking. I was not looking. Look at that! Oh my god, look at him corner! Dude, he is a- He's an S rank wanderer for sure, ow! Oh yeah, right, uh, special car. So, if it's a special car, he has the best handling stat! Ah! Oh, and I thought I was the one who's gonna die there. Alright, so, unfortunately, that the next person is far far away from that spot so we are going home and we're at day 208 217 we're gonna be 218 in the moment and we have unlocked the knob s15 let's check the profile actually of the rival then the car itself so rival list we have um let's see wonder knob yep nobuteru taniguchi uh, he hates losing in a big way. He will never recognize a loss and he will only challenge an opponent against whom he thinks he can win. <laughs> he takes care not to approach cars that are obviously tuned machines. <laughs> How ignorant of this fool. He has arrived at his current driving styles after extensive research of various styles. However, if he thinks he's going to lose, he flings everything away, transforms to a crazed driving style. We witnessed it. We apparently witnessed it. And after this iteration, uh, he goes D1 and puts on a ducktail on this S15, takes off the GT Wang, and that's known as the Nob S15 that we all know and love in Kaido Battle. So first, we have to save. Because remember, Zero is still at large and he's gonna be spawning at day 222. So, day 218, are we still gonna run in with Senpai? But maybe we need to uh, find someone who specifically races only in the rain. Which means though, we need to... Uh, let's just change cars for a sec here. Uh, do we need Senpai for anything else? Let's double, let me double check first the Wanderers list here. Nope, nope, apparently looks like we're all done with Senpai here, so uh, I'll just use uh, Reina here as a as a go-to. We're going to be getting out a specific Skyline. Why do I say Skyline? Because uh, the guy that is only available on rainy days 
requires this specific Skyline. The Skyline Hardtop 2000 GTR, the Ken Mary. So we need the Ken Mary here. Obviously save, we do not want to lose Senpai and every other cool card that we have on the list. We do not want to lose Blackbird. Alright, so save, done. And we are going to switch over to the Ken and Mary. Because our next target will be Gentle Rain. Gentle Rain is located at Osaka. Available only in rainy days. It will only race us if we are in the Skyline C110, the Ken Mary. And it can be earned by defeating Dirty Hato, which we did in the last episode. So he is in Yokohane. In. So we're gonna start at the very back of Yokohane Inn. So that we have a lot of ground to cover for this fool. In terms of boss characters, Yokohana still has uh, Speedmaster. Okay, so this one's an easy confirm. So we have Gentle Rain now in a Mazda RX-3. Another rare vintage car. And he'll only race us if we fulfill these requirements. Rainy condition and the Ken Mary. Ow, thunder. It's actually lore accurate to his name that he only races people in the rain. I mean, you can't be called Gentle Rain and do not race people in the rain, right? That's just stupid. Oh god, god. Should not have called him stupid. I'm sorry. Oh god, the gears of this Ken Mary are just bad. Okay, and I can barely see anything in this rain. Oh god. He's keeping up perfectly well though. Or maybe it's because we're from the same old generation. Ow! We're from the same old generation that this pace is just normal. God, no! No, no, no! No, we've come so far now, we're not gonna lose to Gentle Rain. God. This, this race is a matter of endurance, mind you. Because we're doing this properly. If uh, we got the engine swap for the Ken Mary early, this is no challenge. Ah, my eyes. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening. Okay, there we go. Finally! That took a while! Nice match, Gentle Rain. That was, e that was fairly even. It was a fairly even matchup. You know what? That actually deserves a replay. Like, this is as vintage as vintage races can get here in TXR3. So, oh my god, look at the camera angle. Wow, just wow. A fairly equal match with two fairly equal machines. And if we enter this with a stock can marry, I doubt we would be winning against Gentle Raid. He obviously was in a fully tuned uh, RX3. So we need to respond in kind with a fully tuned Ken Mary. We have the uh, wheel spin at the same time the oversteer. That's why we lost out a lot on the corners. Not to mention, we tend to lose it entirely in gear 5, which is not always the case. On a certain angle though, the Ken Mary looks just like the Hakusuka. Oh, trivia! Speaking of the Hakusuka, by the way, if we were to race this in TXR0, Tokyo Stream Racer 0, the requirement is that we should be in the Hakusuka. The Ken Mary does not exist there. Apparently in, uh, in Genki lore, the Ken Mary only exists here, 
and in Kaido Battle 3. The finales of each Genki game, uh, not counting C1 Grand Prix, that was the finale of all finales. I love the angles in Yokohana though, they're highly underappreciated by the likes of me, by surprise. And yep, that's the part. Wow, exactly in the fog. Exactly in the fog. But okay, so let's get the heck out of here. So we've unlocked the Mazda RX-3. It is on the same performance level as that of the Ken and Mary, only much lighter. And you know, I might actually keep this one. It, it looks vintage. It looks like a Mustang, a better looking Mustang except for the horrendous rear. But it has an appeal. It has appeal for a very old machine. So we're at day two one nine, and oh, before anything, before I do something stupid, save. So we're gonna go back to Yokohama now, because our next target shall be the Surf Goblin, and he is located at Yokohama counterclockwise. back here because his requirement is that we need to be in an all-wheel drive car and the rain reina is now next uh, so we're gonna be maining reina akikawa this time first target being the surf goblin he seems to be right here yep he is in an awmr2 Supercharged, by the way, the supercharged version. A little trivia on the supercharged version later. And when I read his profile, I think he said something that he has a huge hate boner for all-wheel drive machines. That hence his car requirement. Oh, I, I see another person entering Daikoku who seems to be our next target. And he's gone. Just like with Surf Goblin, he's gone. Okay. He, oh. Come on, you're that weak and you're still face planted to a high ace. Jesus Christ, Surf Goblin. Alright, that's the only one that we'll need for this one. No, not for Reina, but in this day. Because the next uh, target is Ghost Soul. And by the way, yeah, we unlock the. The MR2 1.6G Supercharger. You'll see something wrong with this car in just a moment. Uh, we're gonna go to Car Shop. To Toy Bota. And let's go to the MR2. There you go, the AW11G Supercharger. But look at the very bottom there. It says Turbo. Yep, Aspiration Turbo. But it's a Supercharger. So what the hell, Genki? They could have gone with the other AW variant, which is actually turbocharged. But I guess because in this game, uh, they do not have the means to differentiate a turbo from a supercharger. So as long as it's um, aspirated, it will be flagged as a turbo. So okay, um, we're at day 220 now. Save again. We're going to be changing the region of our car because Ghost Soul's requirement is that we should have a plate number with the region marked at number 5, uh, row 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, column 2. I forgot which state, which state this is. I'll probably add it later in post. And by the way, the plate number, uh, not counting the region, the plate number is canonical. 7102, and if you're watching the anime, 9. 71029. So we're still gonna use Reina for this part in Yokohama. So we're gonna come back here. And, uh, yeah, Go Soul. Yep. Go Soul is next. He is in a FC RX7. Yep, there he is. 
Ghost Soul, an FC. There may be a reason why he specifically requires that uh, plate number region. We'll find out in a moment. But since it's an FC, an early starter car, he seems to be not uh, those kinds of wonders that we should not be threatened by. Did I say we should not be threatened by him? Maybe. I can hear the rotary screaming from behind. God, speak of screaming, do not face plant back in the back of that high ace. Reyna, please. Onegai. God. Well, at least Ghost Soul did. What I noticed though about these waifu cars, they really perform in a way that they you will never hit the, the barriers or maybe it's just me with my tune with, with Reynas 32 so we are now on day 220 one more day and we get to see zero finally and we're still gonna keep Reyna on that book we want to make it Wang and Midnight canonical I mean yeah I could have gone with the devil Z but it's still canon if it's Reyna come on you know your Wang and Midnight lures Alright, screw it. I can already feel you guys in the comments. You want me to bring out the Devil Z on day 222. Fine. Fine. Alright. So, coming back here, let me just double check on the requirements. So, the only one left is on Yokohama is Mr. Enzuka. And he requires us to beat Infinity. So, we're gonna skip him for the time being because our next target should be... Night Rocket. Well, we'll need Reyna for that one uh, because it's a special bad name. So we'll need a car with a special bad name. And already prepared in advance, Reyna having the Twister sticker. Uh, electric Shark. Hit left and right barriers at Yokohane inbound. Driving in gear 1 plus hazard works too. Alright, so we're going to try to break in the Waifu Mobile. I'm so sorry, Reyna. <laughs> It's just that we need to do this just to get this one stupid uh, wonder out of the way. So we stick in gear one, uh, driving gear one with hazard lights. Okay, so we need to trigger the hazard lights the moment we... Uh... This is Yokohane Inn, right? So how... I I'm, I'm unsure. How long should we do this? It just says hit left and right barriers. I am tempted to do something inappropriate, but I will abstain from doing so. Oh, thanks for staying away, hi Ace. Yeah, Evo 7, hazard lights on, hit left and right barriers. I, I am doing the thing. Electric Shark, where you at, bro? This GTR is pathetically broken now. Can he just spawn in his own preference? Oh wait, hold on. Let me uh, let's see, game config. Uh... Oh no, it's already wide enough. Let's see. Um, driving in gear one hazard. So let's just keep running. And see how long before uh, Electric Shark actually spawns in. You know what? Maybe I should go hit that pit stop that we just passed by earlier. Approximately 10 hours later. You know what, guys? I'm sorry, but this is gonna take a while. Getting this one stupid wonder out. But let me drive a little further ahead. Maybe you should spawn in a cert when I come out of a certain pit stop. Okay, 
So this is the part where I end things with gentle rain. Uh huh. Many hours later. Oh, are you kidding me? He's not gonna show up. You know what? Let's just go face off against Zero first. Okay, good. I still get demonic devil. All right. So let us uh, sub garage. Uh, let's swap this for the Devil Z. Yes. Yes. Save. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the middle of Yokohana and slowly driving my hazards on. And he'll appear within 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Mental note. But first, it's time for the for the man, the myth, the legend that we've all been waiting for. Uh, save first. Again. Alright, so finally we have reached the moment of truth. Let us clear off 100% Wangan and take out Zero. Please be in a Porsche. I hope you're just as good. There he is. Wait, that does not look like a Porsche? Oh my god. Why? 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 Zero! Look at how they massacred my boy! What did they do to you? Why did they do to you? How did they do to you? I mean, granted, you still have the fog lights, sure, but... Why? What is Zero? How is Zero? No, no, it's Crash. Why is Zero? This is depressing! It's so depressing, I'm just gonna end it right here. I was expecting something good, and I just got... No, this is worse than a public shaming. Why did they do this to you, my dude? Look at how they massacred my boy. Ouch. The hype just died down immensely. What the hell did they ever do to Zero? This is sacrilegious in more ways than one. Why? An AE82? Why? Why? Zero, why? Explain yourself. Rivalist, zero, explain yourself. Profile, Miyabi Matsumoto, misapprehensions attached to life. A veteran racer who has driven the highway for over 10 years. There's a strong theory the street name came from the number of losses is zero. But it appears that the truth is that the name comes from Zoro. I don't care! Why are you the Corolla? His engine is high-speed tune. His startup is somewhat sluggish, but doesn't seem to consider this a problem. He respects for his respected for his speed and this challenge by well-known. Why? This looks nothing like a Porsche. And you're flexing... Stock wheels? Okay, okay, I can partly see the resemblance. The wing, the fog lights. And if you cover the other two on the side and just leave the one in the middle. Yeah, it looks like a port, but just by reflection when it blends into the night. But come on! I mean, yeah, sure, you have the over fenders, but come on! That was the biggest Bakamitai I have ever felt. I just hope the English patch has a way of swapping rival AIs. I want to give Zero justice. Not like this. Anyway, back to Waifu. Back to Reina Waifu. So I saw on the comments there actually that he only spawns on a specific Yokohane ramp with the hazards and the gear and the slamming on. So it has to be in the middle of Yokohane. 
they say. Okay, so slam, 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 any minute now. There he is! Okay, so it has to be at that center point. Okay, there he is, Electric Shark. They, they need to update that on the Wanderers Guide. It needs to be on the middle Yokohane ramp or else he will not show. And it's our first Evo uh, Wonder Evo 7, actually. But I, I am still livid about what happened with Zero that, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna outrun this Evo as much as I can. And no, stop with the hazards, Miyagi. This has had to be the, one of the most oddball requirements out of everything next to Whirlwind Fanfare. No! Okay, thank God. I thought they were gonna turn to Wanga and I was like, no. Don't be a fool, Electric Shark. Don't ruin this for me. Okay, there we go. So the most obnoxious wonder is out. So Adekarya fi- Okay, this is weird, but this is finally we get to unlock the Evo 7. We'll need that for later. Um, not necessarily against Wanderers per se, but it's just that I need it for the sake of needing it. I need to build a Seiji. Okay, so next on the rival list for- I mean the Wanderers list. Mr. Enzuka is gonna be coming soon. Uh, Night Rocket is in a C5 Corvette, it's a special bad name, so we might Kyoko soon. Osaka Blonde needs a wagon type car, so we're gonna be responding in kind. So take out the Devil Z. This is the only reason why I have this traffic car right here. Save. Yep, so we need to get the wagon R double R. I think that's what I got. No, 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 I got the Daihatsu move. And Yokohane in, it says. So let's see. Wait. No, switch back. Change to the move. 140, we need to put in that uh, level 9 engine to up to 150, totally not worth the money. And he is at Yokohane Inn. So Osaka Blonde, the one guy who got away from... Uh... Okay, that, that's, a, that's an easy spawn right there. That's a turbocharged... Uh... Wagon. Okay, so Osaka Blonde, he's missing the E. Isn't it supposed to be Osaka Blonde with an E? Oh god, your axle's faster than mine. Why? Why? We're both midgets. Why? No! It doesn't help that we're, we're at Yokohane, okay? Yes, spin! You are small! You use midget! At least spin for me, my dude! Oh god, I hope that, that Suzuki doesn't have a turbo. I hope it doesn't. Oh god, speaking of turbo. Ow! Ow! Yes, please, please move away. Please die. <laughs> this wondrous list is getting weirder. Oh god, he be boosting. 
I spoke too soon. Is he gunning at 150 in a midget? Why? Oh god. God. No, no vanilla. No vanilla. No, are we actually going to lose to a midget? Look at this man! Oh my god, we actually lost! We actually lost! To a midget! In a midget! Well, I'm glad I saved. You know what? Let's try that again. And see if I could- if, see if we could spinilla him out. Okay, move, arrow. Okay. By the totally not worth engine level 9. Oh wait, scratch it, it is worth, it's just 6300. So the price scales with the car that you're in. So let's take it to the middle because there are more obstacles in the middle. And we're gonna make him vanilla at the earliest point possible. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, we got the absolute instant lead right now. Oh no you don't. No you freaking don't. I wonder though, would he spawn if we were in a legacy wagon? Because it's technically still a wagon. You know what? Let's do something crazy and if uh, we lose again to Osaka Blonde, we're gonna we're gonna buy a Subi wagon and see if it still works. Oh god 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 no 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 do not go to Yokohane. I mean Wangan. You know, this would fare much better if we had an engine swap. Yeah, this spawn point seems to be the much better choice, it seems. Oh god. No, every time when he's down to his last 25%, he does this. Why? Yes, there we go. Pit lane. I mean, toll gate. Finally. That makes me wonder though, uh, those watching right now or commenting when you're seeing this part of the game, can you use... Can you use this car to get Osaka Blunt to spawn? Because it says wagon type car. This is technically a wagon. Would we be able to fulfill the requirement if that's the case? Or it has to be a wagon type slight K? That's what I wanted to know about this. But anyway, so let us... Uh, do we still need Reina for this? No, no, I think we'll need Kyoko now. So we'll need Kyoko, uh, sub... No, wait, no, not sub... Oh, wait, fine, sub garage. Sub garage it is. Uh, who do we need? Alright, give me a quick second here, guys. I just need to double check the Wanderers list again. Because, uh... The ones who will need up top needs to have some swapping. Oh, we could take on Silver Wolf. Okay. But something that we could use... Uh... Oh, we could use uh, Lorna for Gold License. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we have nothing to change. We have nothing to change. Alright, so now we're gonna be... Okay, nothing's gonna be changed. And speaking of change, though, we are going to sell that stupid Light K for 15,000. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing Kyoko now. Uh, waifu number three. And we need to take out Night Rocket, 
who's in a Corvette C5. By the way, trivia! This FD is tuned to spec, to Kyoko spec. So it's under 400 horsepower. Uh, just like in the Shigeno files. Okay, so let's see. Night Rocket is a Yokohane out. So we start there. Special bad name, Corvette C5. So we have the special bad name, Rotary Junkie, because I have Twister sticker attached to Kyoko's FD. Oh, come on! I just said Ro... I did not want no Speedmaster, okay, angry princess. Oh, wait, this is uh, still appropriate. Waifu to waifu. Femme fatale. Okay, right. The only problem. We're facing off against uh, Speedmaster in this area of... Uh, Yokohane. The part where we need to care. We, we can at least uh, take out a few members. Uh, by the way, a little info about Speedmaster. They are the team that has the most number of members. Which is shocking. Oh god, I forgot that Kyoko FD peaks up to hi! Hi, hi, hi! Hello! Konnichiwa! Ow! Ow! This is a bad day for Kyoko. Mental note, never start in that ramp with Kyoko's FD ever again. Uh, got gangbang front, back, and center. I didn't want that. They have around... Uh, Speedmaster has around 10 members in total. So don't be alarmed, but don't be surprised. God, no! Oh wait, there's our target right there. We can at least clear out this one. This one. Oh no, a GTR. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We have the Nameless Hero. Sorry, I have- Sorry, the Nameless Hero, I have to do that. Yeah, an R34 in this territory, no, this is bad. It won't help us even more the moment he starts boosting. Okay, thank you, Hi Ace, for this for the assist. Thanks for grab having my my back, fam. Not you, Hi Ace, the other one. Okay, so that takes care of him. Oh, we can have we can target another one. All right, then let's go target another Speedmaster member. I mean, there's lots of ground to cover for Yokohane anyway. I doubt uh, Night Rocket's gonna Houdini us. Oh God, Spinilla! Yeah, it's the closest build I could do to Kyoko's FD, unfortunately. They do not have the Afini uh, parts. God. But it corners so well, though. More, that, more like too well Come on that last corner. Okay, another Femme Fatale, Lady White. You know what? This, is, this really is the waifu episode. Right, but it's just a legacy sedan, the most underpowered all-wheel drive uh, A-class uh, Subi. Should it be a problem? Should it even be a problem to begin with, knowing this is the toll gate? What did she just do? What did she just do? Ow! That hurts. And that hurts double. But okay, finally, Night Rocket, I need you. So we're gonna get uh, just a quick jump cut 
uh, the moment we reach Night Rocket here. Give me a sec. Okay, there you are. Oh wait, sorry, that was a high ace. My bad. <laughs> yeah, my bad, that was a high ace. There you are. Night Rocket. Um, is that O real or for real? Or low real? Okay. Slight problem. I did not have enough power for that Excel exit. Yeah, single turbo, single lifetime. Kyoko Gaming. The only way around that, unfortunately. Okay, Night Rocket seems to be a little too careful though. But now it's time for me to panic. Kyoko tops out at 180 miles. Woohoo! 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 Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, never go under 400 horsepower in Yokohane. Unless it's Kyoko. She's still best girl though. Yo! What is Red Moonlight like doing here? No Akio, no! So we are now day 226. No need to worry about days for the time being. And let's just double check on our wanderers list. Um, because if. Mr. Enzuka is the only one left on the Southern Kanagawa. We can officially attack. Uh, we can official. We can go back to Kyoko later, just to get Enzuka out of the way. And it looks like we are all cleared with most, if not all, Kanagawa Wanderers, except for this boy. So we can now jump back straight here to Shinkanjo and C1, where we still got a crap load of cars to to beat in terms of wonders uh, Fundabashi Hooligan I remember this guy uh, do not drink and drive he is an experienced with the roads doesn't know where the PAs are located so he's hoping to find a driver who knows all the parking areas alright we need to scout for all parking areas I remember this dude that driver clock based Chitoko leader time attack based wild child requires an M are no 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 it needs a cert it, it needs to be on a Sunday it's a Tuesday right now so we'll skip a couple of days uh, crossroad queen needs to have 300 uh, 30 kilo 30 miles on the odometer on the trip meter oh we can go first for Lorna to deal with yellow desperado yellow desperado is did I clear yellow desperado Oh no, we haven't. Okay, so we can do Yellow Desperado. Uh, Shinkanjo counterclockwise, it needs to be on a new car. And on that note, it's first time to try this out. So Shinkanjo um, counterclockwise, right? Let's start here to make it safe. So we can't fight Crossroad Queen yet. Because we need to have 30 on the odometer and R6C3. Okay, there's gotta be a problem. We have not touched this area yet. Explosion. No! No, 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 Oh, you know what? What was I thinking? I could have taken out explosion here and there. I mean, it's still the waifu episode. And we're just battling normal team members. That should be no problem. Well, it's a good way to break in and test out this uh, Europa. 
But to get Yellow Desperado to spawn, we should not enter. We should not end the day. For the sole reason. Okay, fine. Explosion it is. You know, for the sole reason, as soon as we end the day, this is already a used car. A one day old car. The good thing about the Europa is because it is ridiculously light. Even with just under 300 horsepower, it could still pack quite a punch in terms of acceleration. But it will also be suffering from single turbo, single life syndrome. Uh, just like with Kyoko. But it also means we can blitz our way through the corners at 120 miles per hour. That's 200 kilometers, by the way. So okay, let's at least clean out explosion. Most of them, not the team lead, not get the team leader to spawn. Ow, not get the team leader to spawn in. All right, let's clean up while we search for Yellow Desperado. And if we're lucky. Once we have uh, amounts of the odometer, uh, Crossroad Queen might show up. Oh wait, scratch that. No, we can't. The plate number. We do not have the right plate number. Oh god, no. So it would take us a bit of a while. So we need to get used to this. Silent Sense in a Sephiro. Must be an engine swap, Sephiro. By the sound alone. I mean, look at that. Look at that acceleration with Lorna's uh, Europa. And we're not understeering all the way to the outside. Then again, we were running at less than 100 uh, miles into that corner. Yes, C1, I know. Claustrophobic Ville. Alright, next target. Oh, we got two. Looks like it's merging with uh, C1 out arrivals. Right, I haven't beaten departures yet. So we got two targets. Hopefully one of them is with explosion. And also the fact that it's lightweight, I think tire wear should not be an issue. Oh god, look at them blues. La da di la da die. Are you Finally, there you are! Yellow Desperado, there you are. Okay, question though. Will you be taking me to C1? You're taking me to C1. Okay, C1 it is. Your loss. Literally, your loss. Rule number one when facing a Europa, do not bring them to C1 because this is where we succeed extremely well. Alright, the Subis. And I think I spoke too soon. Oh no wait, no I didn't. I spoke just fine. I spoke just fine like dandelion wine. Alright, but you know what the... Uh, departures? Yeah. No, 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 we might trigger Shotoku leader. We do not want him. Oh no, Rain. No, 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 no. Who else do we need? Uh, now let's double check the list. Sorrow 6 star needs a Subi. Stray Idol Freak needs an MRS. Bloody Mary uh, beat Idol Freak. Hooligan, all parking areas. No, the special ones. Wild Child. Okay, now we can change our plate number because what? No, wait. We're still not on the day. Uh, Crossroad Queen, no, not yet. The El Desperado's out. Gold license requires us to use the right blinker. So we need to be the counterclockwise, use the right blinker, and bada boom. 
And master position. Oh, we need master position. Oh, we're on the clock though. 21 to 2300. So, master position is in Shinkanjo counterclockwise again. But just to make sure we get uh, be ready for Wild Child for Lorna. Okay, it says Art Row 12, Column 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, Naniwa plate number. Okay, gotcha. Okay, it has to be a Naniwa plate. Um, we are going to skip this. Yeah, we need to skip skip this because Rain is our totally biggest enemy here with the Europa. As much as it is clickbait to face off against uh, Ecosprosion, no. There has to be the day. So the first thing we need to do is turn on the right, use the right blinker to get gold license to appear. The question is though, does it have to be in a specific area or it has to be on a certain length of time that we have the right blinker? And while that's happening. Let's at least take out Explosion. Do not enter the pits, my guy. Don't be a troublemaker, troublemaker. Oh god. Speak of trouble. Trouble. Trouble maker. Okay, hopefully this should be long enough. Okay, so let's clean up a bit. And I hope no team leader appears. So we'll try to get some mileage in. And also get master position to spawn. Since we are on his bare bones minimum requirements. <gasps> oh no! Top level! No! Why are you here? No! Okay, I should not trigger top level's team leader for obvious reasons. No, AG Kamiya, stay home! Ow! Can't believe I fit through that. Oh god, the oversteer. See, this is the problem with the Europa. It tends to oversteer on the higher RVMs. And you cannot counter steer your way through it. Okay. We did a mental note way back, episodes back. We shall never attack top level. I, I thought it was an explosion member. I'm sorry. God, no! Okay, we're gonna turn right. Easy squares. Yeah, Lorna's gonna have a bit of a long drive here. Oh my god! Look at them blues! Look at them la da dee da da dies! Okay, there we go. Narrowed it down. Okay, please don't be top level. Please be either master position or explosion. No! No! No, you trigger happy femme fatales. 
yeah we literally okay i i can't believe i'm do i'm saying this but we need to treat top level as if they are corona we have to reject them we have to deny them they're right i'll, I'll just say uh I i'm still studying i do not have time for a relationship with an evo yet but I will consider it. Just give me some time to clear out everybody else. And then we'll talk. Oh god, that was so... You're oh, come on! Another one? Top level, no, we talked about this. That was a Subi. I, I saw the backlights. So you have three more down there. God, no. Also, you do realize there is no C1 team boss or a Shinkanjo team boss. No, no, wait, there is a Wangan team boss, yeah. Uh, Shanj Sanjushi. The reason being, um, that expanded area, if it's not TXR0, God, if it's not TXR0, uh, that area is basically special. Ow! That area is basically special territory. And is that car part? It's not move. Ow, it's not moving. That must be Master Position Kun. If he's not moving, that's definitely a wanderer. Okay, we're getting closer. Closer. Oh no, wait, you started moving. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, not you, Protocol Kyoko! Damn it! I thought that was Master Position! Like, you were lounging around and around at that specific spot! Oh, no, wait, that was TXR0 Master Position, right? Okay, so already did one loop of Shinkanjo. If we do another loop. It should be enough to get uh, Raspberry Kiss to spawn. Was it Raspberry Kiss? Or, I mean Crossroad Queen. Oh, there we go. Uh, more more Explosion instead. Okay, the MR, another MR2. That's our second, ah! That was our second MR2 on the lineup. God, no. Okay, easy there, easy boy. So hopefully this next one is a wanderer, I hope. If not, I have to Google Master Position again. I, I have to Google again to see where Master Position spawn point really is. Because when I remember back in the ho in original hardware, Master Position is in a parked place. After meeting his requirements, he's just waiting there. Okay. Oh! Nice! At what? Wait, gold gold license, so Aha! There we go! So we need to uh, challenge him while our right blinker is on. Alright.
So and this is the only way for us to get the Daihatsu Kopen, by the way. Owned by this little midget boy right here, Gold License. Maybe he has some sort of affinity towards Ow! Some affinity towards uh, the red blinker. The right blinker, I mean. Let me go. They had to open some very underrated front wheel drive convertible K car. It was supposed to be the one replacing the cappuccino among the unique ones, and then they come out with that. Hella unique, actually. Sad it was underappreciated. Ow. Ow. Alright, so we can still clear out more people here because we're also gunning for the trip meter. By the way, speaking of which, R6C3. Oh no. I, I put. I got the wrong plate number. You know what? We're gonna hack our way through it. We're gonna hack her. If ever uh, she spawns in and denies her challenge because we got the wrong plate number, we're gonna hack her, man. Okay, oof. No, 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 no. Alright, I knew it. This was the Subi from earlier. He really did a full lap around C1 at a snail's pace. Okay, this one I am taking to Shinkanjo. God, ow! The AIs here around C1 are pathetically weak. Okay, the only not stupid thing that he should do is turn left to C1. If he does that, like I swear, I swear. Come on, don't do me dirty on this, my guy. Okay, thank you. Okay. Everything's green now, and we have 10 miles left. Ow. Let's try and pit in and see if uh, any of our two targets would be able to spawn. Ow. Okay, there's the pit lane. Gotta pit in and refresh our tires, refresh our uh, Shinkanjo CCL, uh, cross the road between. Can I really not change? No, I'm stuck with Naniwa. Yeah, we, we need to hack her, man, when, when she appears. Oh, at least we get dropped off right here immediately. Okay, no, you are top level. So 10 miles left, and we need to pit in once to get crossroad queen to appear. Ow. Ow, let me in. let me through. Oh god, there's two of you, and one is actually parked. Are you actually part? Or are you just are you just chilling there? It seems like you are part. I mean, I really hope you are parked right there, my dude. Right, I'm just gonna do another quick jump cut and see if our next target is either Explosion or the Wonders that we are actually after. No, elusive girl is an evo. Okay, that was top level. But I've been monitoring that guy on the lower right. Yeah, that seems to be a park wanderer because the guy behind him has already passed him by. Yeah, no. 
That is definitely a wonder. We're running towards that guy. Departures though. Oh, come on, really? Glass Nobleman, are you serious? <laughs> Alright, that's out. So one is turning. Oh my god, he's still there, yes. Okay, we're not challenging the one right after because... They're actually going to be moving any second now. So this park guy has to be master position. I knew it! See? He's not moving! Ha! I was right! You are a wonderer! Wait, does this mean I have to push him out into traffic? Cause he, he... Cause he's just standing there. I mean, come on, look. He's just standing there, menacingly. Okay, fine, I'll push him out of the way. There we go, okay, let's get this over with. So this is the C4 Corvette, uh, driven by Master Position. And if Unlimited is under the C5 Corvette, this is the only way for you to get the C4 Corvette. And thank you. Ah! That was a. It's a trap! That was a trap! If I have ever seen one. Oh god, he be boosting, he's blitzing. No! Oite kunaide! Oite kunaide! Oh my god! <laughs> he had his eyes on me, well targeted. Just damn, bro. But I am going back to the pit lane. Oh wait, hello? You are. No 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 gold fang I already had gold license thank you very much I already hit the trip meter requirement I'm going to the pit lane to get a crossroad queen to spawn So don't me You too high ace don't me Yeah, I'm just running my way back to the pit to the pit lane, guys. God, I said pit lane, not the pocket, not the hot freak. Oh wait, there it is. But I'm curious to see who this next person behind was. You are. No, not top level. Oh god. Like I I want to be chased sure, but not like this. All right. So uh 300 trip meter crossroad queen Chicago counterclockwise. All right. So let's try this. R6 C3 plate. That's an explosion guy.
Okay, fine. You want it, you got it. You want to race me that badly? Go, sure. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the divider. Oh my god. I, I was about to say enjoy the divider and I'm heading face first towards it. Oh god. Oh, I thought he went into the pits there. It's like, dude, no. Oh no. Why is there a team leader? Wind monster, jeez. At least he's in a heavy boy. Yeah, I, yeah. See how I'm easily keeping up? It's the fact that he's a heavy boy that this is happening. Okay, thank the lord. At least that means anyone else remaining has to be either a wanderer or top level. That's as relieving as news could be. Right now, that begs the question, is this one a wonder or top level? There's three of them, and I only defeated one top level member by accident. Please be Crossroad Queen. Oh, for the love of could the next one be a pit stop I need to pull up one right now explosions out which means top level remains and anyone who's anyone has to be a wanderer we need crossroad queen out of here I'm already at trip 36 One, two, three. Three remaining in this area. Okay. Okay, that was an Evo. So all Evos in Shinkanjo counterclockwise is top level. Mental note. Oh god, oh no! This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, our tires are shot. We have to be extra careful now. Hey, come on, we're already running at beyond 40 here. I mean, going 40. Um, um... Um, no! No, 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 no! Why did you take me here? God, I was going you Beltline, you dick! I, 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 I mean, there is, that's a female, that is a female member of uh, top level, so uh, shame on me, I'm sorry. Who's the one that just despawned earlier? I, I swear, I think I would, I could have triggered an arrival that I should, that I should be beating. But anyway, let's chase after this one person right here up to up north, just after Rainbow Bridge. Oh, we did! There is someone. The question is, da da da. Whoo! Oh my god. A flu. So there's two more to find out. Hopefully, one of them is Crossroad Queen. You are. No, you're Protocol Kyoko! No?
Okay, one last. After that one, I am surrendering to whatever Crossroad Queen's requirement is. And I need to bring out a plate number. Okay, that last one up north. And after that one, if it's uh, still top level, I'm going back home. Okay, please be... Mother... I, 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 I hate this. I, I hate this wonder so much. So anyway, we got a Daihatsu Cope and Active Top. A, a compact K-Car. It's not a K-Car K-Car because, because of the weight, but it's compact still. But okay, so we've had enough Lorna for one episode, so... You know, we need... Um, clear out a certain number here at C1 inner so oh no oh no Friday 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 you know what uh, let's see Sunday is close close enough for us to get wild child out so let's first put on who should I pick who should I pick you know what, let's play it safe and bring out Senpai. Yeah, let's bring out Senpai. That as well as Kyoko goes back. I'm keeping because of the build. Um, we need the MRS. The MRS has no waifu particular character in mind. It just happened to build it based on a JGTC MRS, the GT300 variant. Uh, let's see, card change. Yeah, go to Senpai, change the spec. We need R6C3. And at this point, um, you know what? I I've had enough of avoiding top level. Let's at least keep one of them alive. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Alright, also. There we go. Okay, okay, so R6C3, so we have that plate number set. Alright, so we will clean house ne next here around C1. I'll be cutting it once it hits the 2 hour mark. So, um, R6 C3, right? So, let's check first how many there is in top level. So, one. So, who's the better one to keep here? Elusive Girl. Traffic Tear. The red tactician, yeah, red tactician could go. Uh, legendary worker could go. <gasps> Protocol Kyoko stays, simply because of the name. So we avoid the uh, Protocol Kyoko and Elusive Girl. Everybody else has to go. So we do this while we're gunning for the mileage. Uh, the things we do just to get wonders to spawn properly. Okay, so there's three of them in succession now. So this is, as long as it's not Kyoko or Elusive Girl, we're good. And maybe at this point, just to build up mileage, we shall do a field trip around Tokyo and visit every single pit stop as we clean up the rest. Aside from that one. So we've pretty much covered all the waifu cars for this episode. So um, because this is the safest car to use for this grind. Uh, we will stick with Midnight Cinderella for the rest of this, uh, the remainder of this episode. So there's three more. 
and I assume they'll all be top level. Next one is... Because I swear, if Crossroad Queen comes in and we're not even into 30 miles on the trip meter yet, I will explode. Okay, no, Kyoko, you, you, you stay there. Be a good girl. So not you. We're not targeting you. You're part of the finale, uh, Kyoko. No, not you. Not, not, not our Kyoko. Top levels, Kyoko. We've gone over this. Midnight Cinderella's RX-8 has a mix of both oversteer and understeer in the oddest of places. Oh my god, that was close. No, elusive girl. No, you know what? We're taking the pits. Okay, we are going to document this one though. So one pit in, the other pit out. So at least loop out all the pit lanes in Shinkanjo before we progress and continue. This is... Are you Kyoko? Okay, tactician. Okay, you can leave, dude. You can leave. I'm not preserving you. Look at them blues just ready to be conquered by me on the next episode. <laughs> what? The dick! What a dick! That was the dickest move. Okay, mm. mm. okay, okay, okay. Oh, I am mad now. I am absolutely mad now. Okay, do this again. This time, do not screw me over. I'm letting you lead this time, okay? No, no, you don't. I see what you're doing there, you. Now think about what you've done. Okay, there's no pit stop here at Ginza. Nice. Uh, the things I do just to get mileage in. So we'll do a full lap and cover all the pit stops of this side of Shinkanjo. So two more on counterclockwise. Okay, here's the second one. Get out! We're not going to be fighting the next one because we're going to be jumping into the pit lane at Ariake Ramp. There's four of you. Okay. Okay, so Fukagawa 9 parking. Okay, so we got this one. So all the counterclockwise pit stops have been visited. And just to double check with... Uh, elusive girl. Legendary worker. Okay, so we just passed legendary worker earlier. Which means, because after this one, said Fukugawa. So all of counterclockwise has been visited. We can now go to clockwise. So we'll all we'll still stick to Shinkanjo. And right, I have not touched this territory yet. Might as well. So we're okay. I think this is another star. That's the name of the team, another Subi team.
So we need to do quick work with the Razor Miura. Enter Shinkanjo, visit all the pit stops, then come back to clockwise. Just so, just so, Crossroad Queen can finally show her entitled ass into the road. So that we can check her off the list as well. Okay, so that's one down. There should be a pit stop right either before or after Rainbow Bridge. Wait a minute! Is this boy a wanderer? He looks like a wanderer. Oh my god, it's Kaoru! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, Kaoru, 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 what is the requirement? You are a wanderer! Uh, Kaoru here. Tuesdays and Fridays, trip meter below 20. Below 2 miles. Screw that! Yeah, I'm gonna hacker man my way into this match. Just so I could cross you off the list. And god damn it, you're right in front of the P the PA area that I'm supposed to enter. Yeah, Kaoru's actually a stage one wanderer, in case you have not noticed. And no, we are not entering the Ginza parking area because that is C1 territory. Yeah, the reason why I assumed that uh, that FC was Kaoru- Screw it, I'm entering. The reason why I assumed that FC was a Wanderer is because the territory that we are in right now for New Beltline is Subi and GTR territory. So if it's not a Subi, it's not- WHY AM I HERE?! WHY AM I THROWN- Oh god damn it. I assume I would have been thrown into Ginza! Okay, now I enter from here. There you go, Mukojima, I mean. I, well, it's still Edo JCT. Right, so down here, there should be another pit stop right here. We could check that off. It's at Kiba. Kiba ramp off New Belt Line, aka Fukagawa 9. If I go CCL, we're going back to where we were. So, no, not there. So, okay, so back to here we are. So, red shout of another star, okay? There we go, that was a uh, good four-wheel drift. The next pit stop we should be getting is right before Ariake ramp. We're gonna enter that one next, if that is a pit stop. Okay, let's see here. No, almost there to the pit stop. Uh, we're gonna be checking off the rest of the pit areas in the next episode, unfortunately. 
We've been running for almost two hours here, thanks to Electric Sharks. Um, stupid. <gasps> oh my god, Wonder. But we're close to the pit stop. Yeah, Silver Wolf. Yeah, I I'm, I'm facing you, Silver Wolf. You're one of the four kings. Sadly, we'll save that for another time. I need to check this pit lane off. But okay, so I guess that pretty much covers that of Shinkanjo, I think? Yeah, because once we enter Wangan, we need to spawn in at New Belt Line. I mean, Rainbow Bridge. Yep, so okay, we can clean house and find Silver Wolf again. So get the Subi out, but at least we know Silver Wolf is just waiting for us. Silver Wolf is an R33, originally a custom R33, and his requirement is that we need to have at least 500 wins under our belt for him to appear. And why not make it of, um, since he's also one of the legendary four, alongside Midnight Cinderella, Death Driver, and Zero, why not have that one as a finale battle? So we're gonna hunt down. Uh, whoa! But no. What about Crossroad Queen? Right. So wh whoever comes first, Crossroad Queen or Silver Wolf. Either way, we're gonna take both of them down. We can still clean up after everyone's mess here. Cause that pit exit lane is if we're coming out of the counterclockwise pit lane but we already entered that one so yeah we pretty much checked off all the pit areas of new belt line okay so we have the r33 from freeway freeway is the other team that i was talking about the gtr based team so silent reviver And we'll take out the other one, at least until we get Silver Wolf to spawn again. We yeah, we already entered that one, I believe. Did we? Oh no, I think we didn't. I think we didn't enter that one. No, I think we didn't enter that one. Oh boy. I spoke too soon. Did I though? What oh, I remember, I did. I did enter that one. And then we entered here into Ginza. Yeah, we're still far away from our trip meter requirement. And we got the proper nameplate right now. So we can do one more loop around the counterclockwise just to get that off our backs. Ow! Oh god, no! Okay, so no other pit stops here at Ginza. An R32? Um. Yeah, I mistook it for Silver Wolf, apparently. Accelerator Junkie. Okay. Oh, that's uh, R34 from either Rings or Road of Justice. The last remaining C1 inner teams. Oh god, thank you for the counter steer. Okay, so yeah, we already came out of that exit, uh, that pit exit. So that just one uh, pit exit after um, Rainbow Bridge. And if ever I actually did go into that exit already and I'm doing it again, I am sorry in advance. Oh, there you are. 
Alright, so let's do this! Legendary battle! Midnight Cinderella vs. Silver Wolf. I just wish they gave you a custom R33 instead. Yeah, because back in TXR Zero, Silver Wolf had one of the meanest looking R33s. It was ba it's the wide body version from the GT500 R33, but with the stock wing intact. He looked that awesome, actually, really, honestly. And that's why I have mad respects for this guy. Sadly, they butchered him here in TXR3. Sorry, I just wanna. I I I was staring into his eyes. <laughs> See, look at his boost. Yeah, he may just be in a basic R33 compared to a special Midnight Cinderella RX8, but come on, let's be honest. Legendary guy needs legendary AI. Okay. Hey, nice run, my friend. Hey, we're almost close to the requirements. So as, as soon as I step out of Rainbow Bridge, I turn back to counterclockwise and then kick Crossroad Queen in her most entitled ass once and for all. We already got the trip meter requirement. We already got the plate number requirement. Crossroad Queen, you better show your ass right now. And I'm understeering slightly badly though. Okay, there it is, pit lane. Now we go back to counterclockwise and make sure Crossroad Queen's Evil 5 comes into play. So there's three of them. If I'm right, at least two of them I guess should be. Oh wait, right, Th this asshole right here. Yeah, you need to go, legendary worker. And those last two up top are both your lackeys, I swear. I only needed one entitled female with a dolphin for a sticker, and you can't give it to me? Got out. I hope my tires aren't shot, because at least the uh, engine cooled down entirely. Oh wait, I think that's Crossroad Queen right there at the bottom. I hope. So you have to gun it all the way. Because there's only two members left of top level and we're staying away from counterclockwise for good. Until we get to the finale. Oh god, please be an evil a pink evil five. Yes! Finally! You don't you don't know woman how long it took me to get your freaking ass to spawn. God freaking finally I can put this dolphin to rest. God Such an annoying wanderer for hell's sake. At least she's finally out of my hair. Okay, finally that's cleared. Now we can just officially go back home. Spiritual- Oh my god, Spiritual World Demon. <laughs> wow, this name. Alright, so wait first. First things first is to save. And let's check the Wanderers list of who remains in our... So we're almost done. We're almost done with Wanderers, and that means it's all main story. Uh, by main story, I mean the bosses, the boss, the bosses, bosses, Road of Justice, rings, departures, and top level. So those are also another start in freeway. I forgot. So these guys will be coming in next, actually, on the main list, followed by C1 and then grand finale. 
So let's double check first. So we're gonna be coming back to C1 for the C1 Wonders. So we have Sorrow Six Star, which requires a Subaru. Straying Idol Freak, which requires an MRS. If I'm right, is it an MRS or is it the Naniwa plate number? Yeah, uh, it needs the MRS, yep. Bloody Mary requires beating Straying Idol Freak. Uh, Fundabashi Hooligan involves doing all the pit lanes. We're already finishing Kanjo for realsies. We're gonna do Wanga next. Uh, the Souther Kanagawa again on the next episode. Shotoku Leader, the time attack, a death driver needs to be 2 a.m. on the PC clock. Wild Child is the Naniwa number. If I have the, do I have the AG Evo 5? Because I could just throw in the AG Evo 5 and be done with it. Uh, raspberry Kiss. Raspberry Kiss is... Days multiples of 30. So we're 10 days away. So we need to come out on 10 days away uh, to get Raspberry Kiss out. She has the unique Mercedes Benz, the Kijima, the real Kijima Benz. Uh, QT Hip re requires a car which has no spoiler. You know what? Uh, QT Hip, QT Hip. Chicago Clockwise. Yeah, it looks like Reina will be back on the next episode, just for that. Drift Samurai needs to have a cat sticker. Oh boy. Let's get putting a cat sticker on Reina then. So yeah, Reina will be back for Cutie Hip and Drift Samurai. Cutie Hip requires a wingless car, while Drift Samurai requires a cat sticker. Ironically. Um, Silver Wool, la la ya ya di da. Everybody. Uh, Mr. Enzuka, yes. Once we've beaten Infinity, Kyoko also will make a return. And yeah, looks like that is pretty much close to finishing the game in its entirety. So C1 Wanderers, um, the latter half of Wanderer Hunting and cleaning up uh, Shinkanjo clockwise would be on the next episode. Followed by beating the boss of Soul. Looks like uh, aside from this episode, there would be... Um, Wait, let me just put Daiki back in just so I could feel good about myself. Um, so aside from this episode, there would probably be two more episodes remaining for TXR3. And after that, we're officially done with zero losses, 600 wins on the belt. It's going to be a fully completed playthrough of this game with you guys. And I want to say I'm thankful to you guys for all your support for this uh Long ass playthrough of mine of TXR3. So, yeah, um, that concludes actually the waifu episode of TXR3. No, we're not gonna have a beach episode. That's why I'm con. con that's why I am compensating with this waifu episode. By the way, if you're looking at the thumbnail right now and if it's showing the official, uh, if it was the fan made artwork that I have done of Lorna Endo, Reina Akikawa, Midnight Cinderella, and Kyoko Iwase. For Patreon owner, for those who are part of my Patreon, you're gonna receive it on your email in super high quality. If you want a copy of it yourself, I will upload it on my Kofi, uh, on my shops. You just need to buy it, and it'll be all yours. I'll drop it in for I guess as low as five dollars only, and yeah. So your choice of either Kofi or Patreon if you want the full version. Also. This episode might also be ending on a pretty much unique approach. I will be asking help from my friend who does uh, 3D renders to, I guess, build minutes and real and such. But yeah, I give it. Too, I'm giving too much uh, unsolicited information here. Yeah, and if ever you guys are still wondering about how I'm feeling, I refuse to mention of any of it of the sort. Kind of a personal matter. I'm still coping, unfortunately. But me doing this video for you guys is a way my coping mechanism in a sense. It helps me distract myself and at the same time helps me entertain you guys. But yeah, so on the next episode we will be finishing off Clockwise Shinkanjo, the C1 area and the C1 Wanderers. Also the Shinkanjo Clockwise Wanderers. Um, I think the only ones left for counterclockwise is just Wild Child. He's the only one remaining. It needs to be on a Sunday. That and 
field trip the entire Tokyo area just to get all the parking areas for Fundabashi Hooligan. Yeah, so that's everything left aside from the main story part of the game. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Tokyo Extreme Racer 3.